just going to open it manually. Uh, are you ringing me? I can't tell if it's busy. If it's set to busy. Oh, it's set calling. I'm just going to... Okay, there we go. Hey, uh, how you doing, man? I'm good. Good stuff. Um, yeah, I, you didn't need to restart Street Fighter. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> already. Um, but if you do click the button, it'll actually just pop into uh, Frame Trap itself, and you'll still be able to attach to it with uh, XSplit if that's what you're using. Um, I'm using OBS, but... You should be able to, to do it fine anyway. Uh, I think it works with OBS. I'm uh, locked on uh, preparing to launch Ultra Street Fighter 4. Is that just Steam needing to restart it? Um, well, I closed it, and now ah, okay. it won't even reopen. Um, that's probably just Steam having to sync it, because you literally just closed it. Yeah, I uh, guess. So it, it should recover the window. Oh, there it goes. All right. Okay. We're, back in, we're back in things. So Shit, this loud. put it inside FT. Uh, it's not inside FT, or maybe it is. I don't think it is. Hold on, you you can see my shit, right? Uh, not yet, not on stream. Oh, okay. Just waiting for it. It's supposed to be in here, isn't it? Like in the center of the training room thing. There we go. I can see it now. That's fine. Uh, yeah, it's meant to be inside the the training room inside frame trap. So if it's, it's there, then brilliant. You. Well, it's not. So. Ah. Uh, do you have yours maximized or? No, it's uh, it's windowed. Okay, well it'll still work regardless. So you don't need it inside. Oh uh, yeah, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> cool. So um, timelines on the right. You can see you've got the interface for the arcade stick. Yeah. Uh, on frame trapped. If you basically change that, it'll change the highlighted item that you've got in that timeline. So you can actually enable uh, punch buttons and so on, and that'll change the highlighted item. You can then add it using the little plus. Um, to basically add in uh, frame-based timelines. So if you wanted to do a short, you can you simply do one with the forward, one with the down, one with the forward, down, punch. Yeah, um, yeah. And you can then play that in-game. Let me try and it the out. Only, the only reason you needed to do the quick start for the keys is so it makes a configuration file, but we've kind of sorted that now. I just need to update the quick start info. Oh, I fucked up. Um, <laughs> also, next to the plus button is a shortcut menu. So if you have any kind of specific movements you can do things like sure you can and grapple movements are already there so you can uh, just quickly add those in uh, how do i hit play Hold on oh there we go it's uh you got inputs disabled uh if you enable that for player one oh okay then, there we go uh oh there it is a three frame uppercut beautiful <laughs> i did it all right cool there let me go. um let me think about let me think about a combo let me get a let me think about a combo that's much harder to execute I've never actually had a program. Well, I've I've made tool assisted combos plenty of times, but this is uh, far more convenient than using auto it, but also far less transferable than using auto it. But it'll um it'll give me pure frames, right? Instead of like fucking auto its uh yeah, it's eighteen not, it's not, sixteen point six me uh, milliseconds it's, it's or whatever. It's absolutely pure frames because we <laughs> don't use sixteen milliseconds. We literally um, run the game one frame we, each or something. Uh, well, we wait for the game to tell us when a frame is actually passed. All right, all right. So we, we look at the game memory to find when the frame's actually changed. Let me, Once it has, we can then put the new shit in. Let me, uh, let me, let me do a... Uh, hold on. <laughs> uh, it's, oh, yeah. Got, hmm. All right, hold on. Hold for... Uh, I don't know how long to hold, but I guess I can just, you know, test it, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, hold for is how many frames yeah, yeah, that yeah. particular yeah. timeline input is on. So this should be. Um, well, I could actually. So you've got a little open and save button at the bottom, just if you want yeah, to yeah. save anything. Keep it. That's fine. useful. All right. Um, so this should be. This should give me a plink, right? Hold on, let me try it out. It didn't give me a plink. <laughs> I did. Uh, oh well. Mm, Dep depends what you're doing. I did a uh, one frame later. One frame after. Crouch strong, doing crouch jab. Right. Shouldn't that shouldn't that give me a plink? Hold it on. should do. Let me, it's let me. doing exactly the same as... Uh, you're seeing what I'm doing, right? Yeah, but a little bit of delay, so just having to, to wait. Oh, you're not holding it, though. You need to do it on both inputs. So you got the, the medium, and then you got the medium... Oh, like, you mean like, in this yeah, one like I need actual, to have... Actual plank. Oh, yeah, I have to actually... Okay, okay, okay. Well, there's the plank. I think it was the plank, you know? like it, it it's, imbi it's ambiguous with this setup, whether it's the plank or not. But, you know, I'm trusting it. Um, let's, uh, I'm doing, I'm not waiting long enough for this one. Whoa, sound. I don't want sound. Why is it so weird to, like, where you have to click on these to... <laughs> um, 
we're trying to. I'm trying. It, <laughs> it's uh, it's because I'm hitting the hitting these things doesn't do anything. You have to hit the line. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's wait twenty and see what happens. Well, that was entirely too long. Let's wait thirteen, fourteen. That was too fast. Yeah, in order to uh, release an input that's kind of adjacent, if you did like crouching light punch and then crouching light punch into two adjacent uh, frames, yeah, it'll count as holding it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say you that makes sense. Put an empty yeah. uh, punch input next to them. All right, that shouldn't that should matter here though. Ah, oh, there it is. So that should give me that every single time. One frame link. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Now. You might be able to use it on stream. I don't know if they'll be able to hear it, but there is a small, um, like, volume button on each timeline input. It is a true flank. I just so tested it. Actually, uh, <laughs> All right, let me hear the noises. Yeah, and that'll just help you use it like a metronome for timing. Like here and here and here and here? Like that? Do I have to? Which ones do I do? I just do this little, and this? The little, little buttons next to the frame. Uh, like, you've got the... Oh, God, that made a horrible noise. Duration. Yeah. Oh, I hear it. It's like a stick noise. I get it. Yeah. It's <laughs> so you, you could essentially Ooh. create a bread a button combo, um, save it as a file with the sounds enabled, and then other people could use that to, to learn timings. Mm, not bad, not bad. So the hitboxes aren't visible on screen right now. How do I make them visible on stream? They were um, open earlier. That's because the hitboxes are being done on a different draw call in Street Fighter. Now, you can do it just by doing the screen region instead of just doing the game's application. So if you just like drag over the game, it should should work. I don't know how OBS does it, but it works fine in XSplit. So well, I've got I've got some hitboxes on stream. One way or another. I'm waiting for the delay. <laughs> oh, my big old hitboxes. This is nice. Where is the hitbox there? There it is. <laughs> they disappear almost yeah, immediately once they connect. Work. I'd hope it'd be nice. <laughs> yeah. Although you've got your arrangement of your windows are a little bit odd in stream. Oh, really? Hold on, let me look at it. Yeah, it's got a bit of clipping. It's fine. But yeah, um, other features that we've added. Uh, I'll be able to give you a build which... Um, we've got 3.2, which is needing to be released for the closed beta, but we've actually been able to override camera controls. So if you go into frame track now, um, and go to the hitbox viewer, and then go to director. If you enable that, and then click in game, uh, using your keyboard, oh you god, be able to. Uh, oh god, <laughs> yeah. oh god. Yeah, you can control it like first person view using I, J, K, and L. Now yours might be a little bit buggy because it's an old build, but it's it working. should work. Oh yes. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah. You can also zoom in and out using your scroll wheel. You can use left click, right click to rotate the camera. Oh my god. I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> this is pretty cool, and I can move in three dimensions. <laughs> yeah, you, and your sticks, your sticks will still work. Ooh, so yeah, I can still do combos. Yeah. This is a bit weird. <laughs> of course, you went under a skirt. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. So yeah, we got that. Um, now in 3.2, we've actually <laughs> uh, been able to hook into the um, animation speed multiplier for the game, so we can actually do permanent slow-mo. Mm. Now, if you're doing videos, I, in fact, you didn't watch the bloody video I sent you. Um, uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, uh, we can do permanent slow-mo and do uh, presentations which involve slowing down one or both characters. So, like, I'll just link the video again just in case people want to see it, but uh, it actually makes it frame perfect with the, the hitboxes as well, so you could Review, I could, I yeah, I could easily. Yeah. Ain't that something? You've made a brilliant piece of technology here. Well, it, you know, it, it's taken two years, so <laughs> it's been a while. But, um, yeah, we're just trying to convince Capcom, really. Uh, right now, we're waiting for. The oh my god. To be kind of I like, <laughs> of all the things my thoughts suddenly turn to, I'm trying to imagine having an entire stream where I play like this. <laughs> well, you can actually zoom the camera out enough to 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 view the entire stage. Yeah, hold on. How's the? Uh, so, let me let me get a little bit more. Is there a way to reset the camera to where I was, like uh, to um, default? Yeah, if you I guess I could just turn it off. Yeah. Disable and enable the director. You can get it. Back Dude, there. I could I could stream like this. This could be my game. Cause there's nothing. There's is there anything stopping this from just working while I'm playing online? No. 
Absolutely nothing. Wow. Um, it, it'll work perfectly on like. <laughs> this is now, pretty incredible. For the, for the closed beta, it'll work on all modes, but we'll probably have to lock it down to training mode to make Capcom happy. Yeah. Um, otherwise, yeah, everything on this will work in online mode. Oh um, my goodness. Fortunately, the idea of using the combo trainer section online is pretty pretty difficult anyway, so I don't think anyone can use it. Honestly, yeah. if, if people wanted to use tool assisted combos online, it's not that hard. They've, they, they're already <laughs> there anyway, aren't they? Yeah. Um, but... Now this one's a little bit experimental because it's different for different characters. Go to the auto reversal bot. Hold on. Enter in a Shoryuken, and then add. I think for Ryu it has to be three extra frames. Put um, three empty timeline items after a Shoryuken. All right. Does it matter okay. which direction I'm inputting the uh, Shoryuken in? It's all facing right, like you see on the command lists. All right. Cool. Um, so forward is always to the right. Um, but it doesn't matter if you cross them up in training mode, so you'll be absolutely fine. It'll All right, I turned auto reversal on and inputted it okay. as you, yep. as you said. Now, oh, let me. So auto reversal needs to be on. Inputs enabled. Now make sure Ryu is set to human. All right, hold on. And let me. Set to player two on your keyboard. Okay. So when you when you go into training mode, set to human. Uh, you can use your own controller for player one, but player two must be uh, set using Q, so that they they're using the player two inputs. All right, so how do I make it go? <laughs> uh, you just hit him. Well, I, oh, it didn't work. It's like lagging every time I hit him, but it's not doing an uppercut. Yeah, okay, so that might be a bug that we have to sort <laughs> out. All right, what did I do wrong? Let me look at this. Uh, make sure player two's... Yeah, made player two the keyboard. Um, I set it to human. Yeah, oh. uh, try adding one more empty item on. All right, let me do that. It's really buggy. We're trying to find the perfect reversal window, but different people have different reversal windows. Yeah. So it's kind of trying to, to get that mix. I hear my nominate Zayla for best stream monster. Cheers. Yeah. This is, uh, this is, it's, it lags every time I hit him. It seems like it's trying to do something, but, uh, it it's not using my inputs. That's a little bit bizarre. Okay, oh, you've got plenty of. Empties. Okay, because um, it, if it's too many, it won't work. So it's just trying to find the perfect mix. I can see oh. it lagging. I don't know what it's trying to do. Hold on. It, if it has too many, it won't work either. Yeah, because you you hit the reversal window too early. Oh, let me let me see if I can. I might. Hmm. All right, hold on. It should be about three or four for most characters. Like Zangief is always five, bizarrely. Hmm. Curious. Wants to do it. Maybe it's because I gave it an EX DP instead of a regular DP. <laughs> that, sh that shouldn't be it. That should work. I can make it do a reversal anything, right? Theoretically. Yeah, um, basically, you can you can make a reversal forward walk if you wanted to. Mm. Um, but no, you're doing the DP. Got one, two, three. Yeah, that should be fine. Don't know why it's not working. I'm confused. Yeah. Let me test it myself. Although it might be because you haven't got it loaded in. That's what I was about to suggest, actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> if you're willing to, to restart it, just use the load restart Ultra Street Fighter 4 button. All right, here I go. And just just straight straight up restart the, the game. See if it hosts. Oh, there it goes. It's hosting. Sweet. Okay. It's kind of small. Right, Let so me blow it up a little bit. Uh, let me. I'm probably not synced to this. No, I am synced to this. Interesting. I think it's a little off, but whatever. Might be. I'm just going to test it myself now, just to make sure I'm getting it right. This is... Now that I've maximized it, though, uh, I can't read my stream chat. <laughs> let me let me see if I can find some happy medium. All right. That'll do. Still looks a little small, but whatever. If it helps can actually, you know where it says Ultra Street Fighter 4 in the little tab above yeah. the frame trap? You can actually drag that out. What do you mean? Oh my goodness! It's tiny now. I see. Yeah, you can, you can drag that to any size you like and clamp the resolution to whatever your actual game resolution is. Oh, I see. You, you can do that for all sections of the window. It's like the auto-reversal bot. You can drag that out. Mm. Alright, how, how do I put it back though? Never mind. Hold right. on. Wait, yes. yes. Yeah, you can just drag it straight in. 
Let me see if I can get Ryu to DP on auto reversal myself. Make sure it's working properly. How do I put it back in frame trapped? Just drag it in. It I'm, should, it's it's just in. Literally drag the drag the tab onto the empty area. It's in the empty area. <laughs> do I have to drag it all the way out of the empty area and then move it back? No, oh, hold on, I just did it. It yeah, was weird. I I, had to, <laughs> I meant to move it lower, or something. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. um, yeah, let me see if I can punch this shit out. Really. Okay. It's uh, misbehaving for myself as well, so that oh. doesn't look like it's just you. Okay, so I'll try and figure that out because I think Capcom might have released a patch after I actually did this section. Okay, well, either way, the auto-reversal bot is meant to. <laughs> mm. um, auto-reversal whenever you take damage. That's quite useful. Um, so, I mean, it does work, so I don't know why it's misbehaving. I can't find resources. Oh, oh, it's actually giving me errors. Okay, so that's why. Cool. I'll solve that one eventually. Oh, uh, yeah. Understood. Um, but, yeah, I don't know what else to, to, to show you, really. Um... You can save everything. You can load it for everything. Let's go explore the. Uh, I want to see the Alex. I want to go see the Alex. Oh, <laughs> it's uh, in the sort of back left of the. Stadium. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get there. We gotta look at that. If people haven't seen that in this stream yet, like, that's some pretty serious shit. Also, apparently I'm still in training. What am I doing? In, apparently, it's it's still been in. Um, it was from Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Oh, really? So it, it, yeah, apparently. They moved it over from when they ported the stage over? Yeah. Wow. So that's so that's been that's been hiding there forever? Wow. Well, pe people knew <laughs> it was it was there apparently cuz people I didn't know. SRK, people in event hubs were like, "Oh my god, it's old news. What the fuck are you doing?" Oh, I didn't and know that. Was, was that Pro Fluke was on stream just checking it out on his beta build. Yeah. And he was just like, "Oh my God, this is amazing! I'd freak out if I found that. Yeah, he 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 was so hype on the stream, bless him. Um, but yeah, he's been doing a lot of stuff for us for train trap, getting us some exposure, which is pretty nice. Yeah, that's nice. Let me let me get you some exposure. I am yeah. very impressed with everything I've seen. Well, let me oh, see I if picked I, can... I picked a random stage. Oh well, I'll explore a random stage. You don't want to explore a random stage. Um. You know, one of the more epic stages to do it on is the lava stage because all the shit's moving and it's got lava everywhere. It's pretty cool. Lava stage? No, the the furnace, furnace stage. There we go. There's a lot of shit going on in furnace stage. Oh, here is it is. Pretty awesome. Here's the 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 panther thing, jaguar. Ooh, it's spooky. <laughs> Get it scratch itself. The Eventually, bats. we've actually got uh, some data hooks for. The hitboxes, which we'll use of the camera, because of course we know the location of all the hitboxes for individual body parts. So what we could do is place the camera, say, like, put the camera on top of the the Jaguar, and then have it lock on to a body part, so you could actually get it to follow like player one's head or player two's feet. Ah, uh, that one. sounds cool. You could literally yeah. POV it from. You could, yeah, from the <laughs> point of view. Of that, for example, you could be like behind the bat and just looking at the whole. Fight from the point of view of the back. This thing is decently modeled considering how far in the background is. Yeah, <laughs> no, it is pretty good. I mean, they have to take into account quite a few of the uh, the ultras giving a different perspective on cameras, so they have to do a lot of depth to make sure it looks good. Yeah. The T Rex one's pretty funny. Oh my goodness, I need to see that now. Wow, this forest goes so far back. Yeah. <laughs> There's a mountain up there. I'm not going to climb that, it's going to take forever. I think this one of the biggest ones impressive. is the volcano one. Um, and one of the widest is the half pipe. Mm, yeah. Let me get into a different stage here. Yeah. Let's do the half pipe. I'm actually trying to check out my auto reversal spot now. I'm on my lunch break now, so I've got time. <laughs> mm. What are you, eight hours in the future? Is it 12.30 there? It's 12.30 here, yeah. yeah. Scot Scotland, Edinburgh. All right, hold on. I keep on trying to hit the wrong buttons. I've got to unbind my L because that's like a th that's my throw. There he is. I will be back. I wonder if there's a way to see this if you use a specific ultra in a specific place. There is, but very few of them. Ah, uh, there's the Armika and Hager. <laughs> this is insane. Can you imagine actually doing it from the point of view of the skater? Actually. Oh my goodness. You could adapt yeah, you it to Yun. 
Yeah, and he could. He, you could. Yeah. <laughs> just be like. Just what be was like this? The I've never seen this one. Complex pig, and then some cool graffiti. Why is this here? Why did they bother to model this? I prop, know, to make prop, teasers on streams, you know. Prop, props to Capcom. Yeah. You can see this is one of the widest stages, though. Yeah, yeah. 100% geef. I've never seen this one. This one's cool. <laughs> I did not know that was there. Oh, we got a bin. <laughs> we got a bin? <laughs> yeah. It's quite funny. You know the dog that steals the chicken? Yeah. The Asian stage, yeah. He literally just goes down the alley and just full-on disappears. Hilarious. Like chicken gone forever. Dream. Oh, a Shadaloo logo, I think. Yeah. Interesting. You found a Shadaloo logo. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. That's definitely Shadaloo. I don't think uh, I don't think I've ever seen the Shadaloo logo on him. There's a bunch of them. There's like a whole row of them on this wall. Every single every single I'm I'm, I'm waiting for the uh yeah. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Shadaloo headquarters found behind the skate park. Yeah, really? Yeah. Okay, it didn't even move me. That's good. <laughs> I'm going pretty deep. I can see the buildings in the far off distance. Oh, Capcom. Deep, I'm a little bit in awe right now. <laughs> I can't imagine that this is even visible from where you start. No, it's none of it is visible, really. <laughs> Beyond the occasional, uh, <laughs> the round just went. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, none of it's visible by uh, any stretch of the imagination, really. Something oh, this is all like textures which you'd never see. Yeah. From the, uh, from the game perspective. I've hit the I've hit the limit. I think. I think I've gone outside the entire stage. This is a huge stage. You still, you can still go beyond the stage limits with the camera but it'll kind of yeah. it'll start clipping and having a few bugs I used to do this with uh, there was a trainer for um, Fantasy Star Online that would let you move anywhere and I would just run around like the uh, if you the... want to really quickly skip back to the characters by the way just turn it on and off yeah yeah how do I um, it's my mouse locked how do I do I just have to alt tab <laughs> All right, whatever. Uh, you can use the Windows key. It's the oh, window, Windows key. All right. Because that'll just bring up the Windows menu. And then yeah, yeah, all right. Also that. Um, I don't know if I want to look at another stage. I'll do one more. But yeah, the you can see under director there's a little uh, number box which doesn't actually do anything useful right now because it just adds lag <laughs> to, oh. to your graphics card. But that actually is going to be the multiplier which allows you to do slow-mo. Ah. Um, which you can see in the video. I've linked in the chat. Hint, uh, hint, hint. Oh, I did the same yeah. stage. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm distracted by... Uh, I'm, I'm very distracted by the interface itself right now just because it's so new. But I keep on doing stupid things in the actual game. <laughs> All right, let me let me see here. What stage should I do? I'm gonna do. I'd recommend um, the furnace one. That's just. Oh uh, yeah, all right, furnace it like, is. Like put, hovering your camera above a, you know, boiling vat of yeah. molten metal, and then viewing your characters fighting it out to the death. Big horizontal yellow hitbox is the proximity box. Proximity blocking? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. If you if you do a normal, that's the is inside yeah, the that they block blocking. instead of yeah, they block if instead the of moving backward. A block, yeah. All right, makes sense. Um, let's uh, let's dig in here. Yeah, there's a couple of boxes like um, the proximity hit boxes will sometimes stick if they're for projectiles, for example. Um, but otherwise, it's fine. The stage is pretty interesting already. Yeah. Caution, danger. Fire, prohibited. Fiver comes onto the stage and just uses fire everything. Oh, you'd never see this. Oh, there's a lot of stuff this in the background. Is, this, is another, this is another uh, cross tekken board. Yeah, bro. yeah. I think I there like are multiple versions saying. of a lot of these levels in cross tekken I think <laughs> I like they they're saying that uh, no fire and a blast burner. Yeah. So here's like a door. Oh, actually, 
Yeah. I think it's in your version. Um, go back to your characters and middle mouse button. Hold on. Give me a second. Yeah. I'm st I'm still in this. It's fine. I want to I want to dig into the. Whoa! This area is enormous. Why did they bother make this much? I wonder if this is just where like the other parts of the stage were. Like if it was all loaded at the same time or something. Probably not. I don't know. I mean, they might have imported it from other assets. Yeah. Like. You know, they are Capcom, they have hundreds of games they can take it from. That's true. Alright, hold on, let me get back onto the... Let me yeah. get back onto the... So, Rex are on, get your camera back on your characters, and hopefully middle mouse button works. Let me wait for the time to over. You don't need to wait for the time over. No. Well, I've got a frame counter going, and a distance. That's all, I think that was already there. What's middle mouse do? I'm uh, like hitting it, hitting it. It might need to be in training mode, actually. Um... You press start. Yeah. Oh, did you turn the director on again? I oh no, I didn't. Okay, turn director on. Get your mouse on them. Yeah. Middle mouse click. It's not doing anything, I don't think. What should it be doing? It should be freezing everything. It is not doing that. Uh, try. Did do you have a a mouse with mouse four and five on it? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. Try. Those aren't doing anything either. Darn. Damn it. Um. Okay, that's fine. Try it in training mode when you go back into it. Yeah, let me do that right now. And make sure you don't press start. Just literally go into training mode. Middle mouse clear. Alright. Good old Jury and Hakan. Training mode mm. stars. Them defaults. Jury has one of the most gorgeous backflip and front flip animations in the game, by the way. That in slow mo is just like a. It's a Oh, length movie. I froze everything with middle mouse. Damn straight. Okay, now you can use mouse four, which is back, like browse back. You can yeah. Back to advance frame by frame. Oh, very useful. Very useful. Now, currently, there's a, a small bug which happens on like uh, it's about 60% of PC setups where it skips two frames instead of one, but you can still use that to review frame by frame hitboxes. So I could still input. Still work. It'll I still work with inputs if you hold them. Um, yeah. The slow mo will be a lot better alternative, but this is great if you're just wanting to review like a single move frame by frame. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me do a. I'm gonna do a combo. In this. Good luck. Funny. <laughs> hold on. Check this out. All right. Let me get Jerry nice and still. Uh. I don't know if you can do this well enough. Hold on. Probably the best thing to do is to literally start it and then middle mouse button the moment you start the the move. Because you're not going to be able to combo with one hand on your mouse. I think I got it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at this. I'm waiting for it to appear. <laughs> I, did a, I did a frame by frame combo. That's actually really useful because you could do insane... Let me get like... Hold on. Let me get Ibuki on the screen. You could do combos with insane inputs, doing them frame by frame. Like, well, let me that'll be more useful with slow mo. In fact, yeah. If you give me, if you give me like five minutes, I might be able to give you a slow mo build before it's released officially on the closed beta. I might, I might just wait until it's released. Hold on, let me check check this out. All right. Yeah, I'm watching. Um, hold on. This is a bit wonky for my hands. Uh. It's be pretty funny. What are you going to do? Smeedy loops for days? No, 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 no. Um. <laughs> In fact, I wonder if my Skype... Yeah, oh, my Skype's going to work. Sweet, okay. Oh, I got um, the cancel onto EX Uppercut. Because I didn't wait until I super jumped. <laughs> uh, I wanted Ultra 2. I don't know if it's going to be friendly to you or not, but check your Skype window. I see it. Well, I see that you're watching my stream, Sweet. I think. That is my stream. Oh, it's your stream. Oh, I see you then. Yeah. You got Ryu and um, Ibuki. Okay, so bear with me. I'm going to restart this. Go to exploit. Bum, 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 bum. Is that? That is my stream. Sweet. Cool. You got, yeah, yours you know. looks almost identical to mine, except you've got Ultra yeah, Double. Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've, I've, oh, I've literally got the same costumes as you. Yeah. I have no idea. Because Ryu Default and so Pikachu was, Ibuki. Yeah, <laughs> Pikachu Ibuki is the best, man. <laughs> right. let, me, uh, let me get this up on 
my X split so you can see what is going on. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Come on, behave. Cannot access the requested thing, I know. It's arguing with me because I had Street Fighter open. <laughs> You're having good fun there. Yeah, I am, actually. <laughs> my cat's meowing outside my door. Seriously, when I show you what what's going to happen on my build, you're going to wonder. That's better. Mm, I keep on getting EX uppercuts. <laughs> you will do, because in between, it's going to have to release the keys. So that's why you forward dash whenever you hold it. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Training mode. OK, let's do Ibuki and or a buki chew. Well, I definitely got the uh, super jump cancel, I think. I just want the super jump cancel ultra, though. <laughs> Is that all you wanted? Yeah. Dude, you should be able to do that already. It's just, uh, I don't know the exact input. Pro skills. Oh, yeah, no, I right. can... Okay, I can... now, check check my, my weapon. Yeah, I, I, see, I see you. I can cool. blow it up a little uh, bit. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait for this. Okay, so... I see some jump back super. Are we watching the end of... Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's slow-mo. That's pretty cool. Okay. Now, as you can see on the bottom, though, my frame counter is still running 60 FPS. So mm. this isn't slowing down the graphics at all. If I just turn off some of the, the debug data and get that out of the way. Yeah, you can actually see everything is just slow animation. You you see frames of animation that you'd never see in in the game before just because it's been animated at 60 frames a second in game. But this way we can actually do it with like 180 frames for an animation. So like Jury's backflip is just epic. So yeah, you can do some crazy shit, in, including her ultras. So it's like we do uh, Dagger Ultra then. So it's oh, slow mo. You ever do the glitch in vanilla with the Ken and the Super Freeze during uh, the <laughs> KO? <laughs> where we play everything super slow? Where the, the opponent K would just continue on and look like they were having a spaz attack. Yeah. And then Ken would just spin in midair, looking like he's breaking his bones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've done that several times. <laughs> so many kunai. I can't, I can't get the super jump. <laughs> I love how uh, everyone in your chat's just seeing a tiny, tiny little Skype window in the corner. It's like, yeah. oh, Buki. It's brilliant. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. But yeah, um, I'm trying to think. How are you trying to do the super jump cancel? Uh, I'm doing it. I tried it both ways. I tried to do it uh, quarter circle forward, tiger knee, into another yeah. quarter circle forward, and then I tried to do it with the second one being the tiger knee. Uh, delay your kicks a little bit further. The reason you're getting the. It's because um, I'm actually canceling it. Because I'm not actually getting the jump yeah, yet. You, uh, what oh, you I got it. Do is <laughs> I delayed. Delay it just. You delay it just a little bit. It, you need to be in pre-jump frame. Mm. Otherwise, super jump cancel just wouldn't work. Um, what else have we got? People day should be fine. It can be a little bit buggy, but you do actually have live um, advantage stats there. Yeah. Uh, Wait, hold on. So Where? you can actually see things like uh, Ibuki's oh. far jabs. Well. Oh yeah, minus minus so and so. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Fancy that. Plus five stand jab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now there's a couple of bugs with it. For example, you know Ryu's um, standing medium punch is like one of the best 
frame advantages in the game for a medium. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually because he's got an extra variable of hit stun, which nobody else has. Um, which it's not just, oh, we are animating a little bit more hit stun. He's literally got an extra, like, a variable in the equation, which adds on to the hit stun. So it's a little bit buggy with moves like that, but otherwise it's, it's pretty accurate. Mm. Um, and in fact, that's what we use for the auto-reversal bot, is to try and use that to, to make people auto-reversals to find where their interrupt frame stops. I froze uh, a hitbox on the screen. <laughs> yeah, that's just... Does that from the jump-ins? Yeah. No, no, yeah, no. If, that, it's, no. If, it's if it's cancelled prematurely, um, i.e. from something it's not meant to be cancelled from, a hitbox will not be consumed. Mm, I see. So, so in fact, that's that the game is still keeping the information there, even though it's not active. I'm sure I could use this to... to <laughs> I'm sure I could use this to show some wonky ass setup off. I want to. I want to. I want to program a combo. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Go for it. I, I can send you a decent combo. You have a. You have a, a file for me to load. I should. I'm trying to think. Like, um, I'm sure there's already. I uh, there's a community I'm part of on the internet mm -hmm. on uh, Combovid. It's got a little forum, yeah. and. Um, on that, there's a uh, uh, a lot of people do a lot of tools to sit combos there. Yeah. Let me just check which uh, one I've got for wake up. Right. Okay. Cool. Um, this should work. So the father sent you no, hold um, on. is an Ibuki Suiji Go setup. Um, which I've been working on. In fact, this is the one I was trying to tell you about with Zangief. Um, which, if you've got like a, a reversal happy Zangief, will pretty much just teach him to start blocking. Um, All right, here I go. So hopefully if you open that, it's for quick get-up Zangief characters, but you can do it in uh, pretty much anyone else. If you click on player one with Ibuki, hold on, open hold it on, up, hold on. you can open up that file. Brain Trap will be happy. I want to, if I'm going to test this, I want Ibuki player 2 and uh, Geef player 1. <laughs> Visor, you weren't kidding when you said you'd add lots of features frame trap, dude. Yeah, I kept my word. <laughs> uh, we, did, we did the campaign on Indiegogo. Lots of people responded with fantastic uh, contributions. I, I couldn't even find Geef. No, I can't find Ibuki. All the characters are smaller, they hide. Alright. You can actually full screen. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, just if, if you wanted to. I know. I just, uh. I want to see my chat. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright. So, it, so it the idea is that you start with target combo 5, flip them into the air, um, and then Suiji go straight afterwards with medium Suiji go, and as you land, you perform a rider. Now, a rider makes you throw invulnerable. But because it isn't itself a throw, it's a strike grab, it means that any other reversal that Zangief does, including his SPDs, his Ultra, and his Super, will immediately be beaten out by it. So the only option he has is EX Green Hands and Block. Those are the only two things he can do against it. I don't think it played out quite right. We'll see. We'll see. I got a low strong instead of the CWG go. Let me set up on mine, make sure it's working. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, am I doing this from the wrong side, perhaps? It doesn't matter what side you're on. Should oh. be fine. Okay, so if it is... Oh, the screen's black. Oh yeah, I didn't. I didn't reboot it. <laughs> oh, it should. It should. It should actually. It should this. still work. Yeah. It's not. Hold on. Let me um. Let me add a, spe a specific instance for a frame trapped. On Boom. OBS. Yeah. That's as good as it gets. Okay, check out my Skype cam. I'll show you what it looks like. All right, hold on. How do I blow this up? All right, I'm see I see it. Okay, cool. They just plow beats his ultra. Let me see that again. That was cool. Okay. 
do it with super instead. That's some curious stuff. Yeah, and it beats out his green hands, apart from EX, his uh, both of his SPD options. How about backdash? Um, backdash, it beats it beats both jumps. Oh my goodness. So, so if I get backdash, actually, I've got it here somewhere. Da -da -da. Free kicks, actually, let's do free kicks. So it beats out his free kicks. Ah, that, I switched over sides. Yeah. There again. Ah, she just failed. Well, I wouldn't really call that a failure. Well, I wouldn't there call it go. beating it there. So there beats you go. Out, beats out his reversal there. Um, let's see, that's timed for that. What was it you wanted to see him do? Um, no, back that's dash. pretty much it. Back, yeah, backdash. Yeah, backdash. So that was it. We can insert the backdash. Hopefully that'll time correctly. Should do. Yeah. Oh, oh. just out. Okay, so is it because he's uh? Be fine. <laughs> All right. Let's delay that maybe a second or two. I got the yeah oh, the crossover. Call it corner corner option selected with that. <laughs> you have a lot so of options, so yeah, yeah yeah. But if we could um, do other things to beat a back dash. True. Uh, you can also, like, if he tries to jump out of it. So if we just increase the jump. That's how probably not going to work, so he's going to land on the other side. How, does, uh, how, about, how about EX SPD as opposed to the normal ones? Oh, beats them both. Oh, like okay. We, I'll, just, I'll just load it up. Uh, EX, uh, Zangief Ultra 1, and then just change that to SPD. So we take out 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That should work. Oh. Yeah, so it's... <laughs> It it she's, dodged. She's throw invulnerable as well though. Yeah, yeah. So, so the you recover she re she recovers faster than Geef does. Yeah. <laughs> Recovery on uh oh it oh, actually oh, beat oh, it that oh, time. There we go. So yeah, usually if you get the timing right, it gets the active just on. Yeah, his is a reversal, so it's still a little bit strict on timing. But you can you can learn those timings. And yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty easy to to change it up. You can land on the other side by swapping out the medium with the hard. So that'll make you land on the other side of Geef. Oh. But of course it changes your timing. Yeah. But yeah, um, also, if he doesn't quick wake up, you can just dash forward uh, twice and do, exactly do the same thing. thing. Oh yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I got excited like a couple of weeks ago when I was like, dude, dude, I finally found a way to fuck Zangief. And this was it. <laughs> mm. You've also, uh, Another mix-up, which is safe on block. I don't know if I'll be able to do it with my keyboard, so this let me just put my stick in. But, um, she's got the... Uh, her sweep can target combo into the launcher. Yeah. So you can actually use this against... Zangief and T-Hawk uh, are the ones which are big enough. So... Just get on the stick. So... When you're doing um, crouch jabs into any kind of combo, you can just follow up with a sweep into hard punch, and it'll beat all of his reversals, because the hard punch will stuff out anything um, which is a, a strike-based attack, but you're airborne, so he can't SPD it. Did you try EX SPD? Because EX SPD is always the thing to try there. If you're doing a true safe jump, EX SPD should beat it, but if it's not a true safe jump, you should beat him. Or rather, you should land after he throws uh, the opponent. I have opponent. no idea if my grapple emotions will work, so we'll see if I can do an SPD. EX SPD is literally designed to beat safe jumps, but this might not be a safe jump. <laughs> Could easily not be, rather. Of course, my auto reversal is not working either, so this yeah. might not work. Nah, it's not going to work for me. Oh, well. Okay. Um, I can easily test that later, though. Yeah, okay. But yeah, you basically can chain it infinitely, because if you land it. You can do another one, and another one, and it stuns him. Mm. And that also generates two bars a meter, so you can follow up with red focus ultra, and that guarantees kills him because of the damage. Not bad. Yeah. Um, so because it's a reset on a six hit move, you can, if, if you manage to get your launching target combo into it, then you can just basically start that chain. It's safe on block, so you can just keep on doing it until he responds with a 
an actual block and SPD. So, yeah, really hard for him to time it because you can link it into any of her target combos and still follow up with exactly the same thing. And you can even follow it up into the combo I just showed you, the one where you can launch him into Suiji Go and then mix up with the Rider. Yeah. So it's I, I used it a couple of uh, days ago in a tournament, and the Zangi, I, I, he just looked at me and just said, what the fuck was that? Um, Not bad. I, I, best, best, best time in our, on our tournament I've done that. It's real. Um, but yeah. Yeah, don't know what else to tell you, really. We've gone over most of the frame chat. Um, I'll probably uh, find some, I'll probably play with this a little bit, and then I'll find something to show off in yeah. stream. I, I like I might I might do some incredibly stupid tool assisted combo and then like cut to frame trapped and then show yeah. like the combo in frame trap something like that I don't know. You can also provide the file. Yeah. If you yeah. Just save the file, you can. Say, I, hey, I can just put it in the chat. File yeah. Today. Now you can all be this guy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's text based. It stores when you do sounds as well. So if you're teaching someone the timing of a combo, just enable those little metronome yeah. tags on, on on the file. It'll save, and you can just literally send it out to your users saying, "Hey, this is the combo we used in the tutorial. If you would like to learn on frame trap." And that's the idea behind it. Is that it's meant to be this this fantastic social sharing tool to help newbies train. You know, the the old combo trainer tried it, and that it had the worst interface of, of any trainer I've ever seen. Um, but it, it worked. People used it. People like went on to Reddit, got the files from the Bread and Butter project, and learned these combos. Yeah. So now that we've actually got this, which eventually, um, if people are using Frame Trap together, there's going to be an IRC chat, which you can literally say, hey, I just discovered this combo with Zangief. Press a button, and it will literally share it in the chat, and you can just download it into your, your Frame Trap session and open it up. And then people could literally just go and practice that and see, oh my god, dude, that's amazing. But if you thought about this reversal, then people can respond with different things. And that's the idea, like, just to promote the community side of this game, which seems it's, to be lacking on community. It's on certainly PC a lot community. easier than the current competitors, I'll tell you that, because I've been using the current competitors. The current yeah. competitors are abysmal for testing. Um, uh, which ones are you using? Show off? No, I don't even... <laughs> the things I use are just like... We're not even conceived with fighting games in mind. Yeah. But yeah, um, I don't know what else to say, really. <laughs> uh, I need to get back off my lunch break, because I've got to return to work in about 10 minutes. But, All right, yeah. Um, I, I should have stopped streaming several hours ago. So. <laughs> that's absolutely fine. It's like 4 o'clock for you now, isn't it? Uh, 5, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> anyway, yes, let me know how you get on with that. If there is an update, um, you should see it in the top right, there's a little question mark. Uh, the top two options on it don't work anymore because we've changed from the old uh, broken Microsoft click once shit. But you can literally check for updates with the little click there and it'll automatically update it for you. Um, so I'll let you know if we release 3.2 with those slow mo controls. All right. Uh, and go from there. Cool. Anyway, I will hang up for now and enjoy the rest of your stream. Uh, yeah, um, so probably won't be much. Have fun with Frame Traps. And if you've got any questions, just literally drop them in Steam and I'll give you Of course. Time. Yeah, thanks Thanks for being there. No worries, dude. Have a good day. <laughs> Oof.